Oh. Hey, Bob, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Oh, man, I appreciate you. Hey, I know your number by heart now. <laughs> I, I dialed it without even looking at my phone, man. I want to say thanks for taking some time, man, to come into the barbershop. And, and let's start with last night, man. Oscar, Bert, Oscar, I mean, Burchelt versus Valdez. Well, that was terrific. Terrific performance by Oscar, and I'm very proud of him, you know. Uh, he We turned him pro. He's done uh, great fights for us, but mm -hmm. he's now developed into a real talent uh and uh, i mean just wonderful to see him perform the way he did last night i'm very proud of him and uh you know it it just shows uh how the, these new uh great trainers and the great and the uh ability they have to improve the performance of the fighters they work with is really wonderful. Eddie Reynosa is one of the great, had become one of the great trainers of our time. Uh, same way, uh, Coach K, uh, who uh, is the trainer of uh, Shakur Stevenson, mm -hmm. is becoming uh, a premier trainer. And uh, everybody was bemoaning the fact uh, that the old school trainers are dying out. Mm -hmm. And now we have, you know, the new trainers. And if anything, they're the equal, if not better, than the trainers we had before. Yeah, I I, I definitely would agree. You said, uh, uh, we just spoke before we went live, and you talked about Burchelt had all the advantages, but Oscar Valdez had what? Had the smarts, mm -hmm. uh, the intelligence, and the fortitude. Uh, to take his skills and uh, beat a guy who had clearly all the physical advantages. Mm. Uh, and that's wonderful. And that's a testimony to the kid and how he performed and also to the trainer uh, who schooled him for this fight. Mm. You got to give a lot of credit to Eddie. Very much uh, so. Very much so. For, 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 uh, yeah. And that's wonderful. And that's something great to see. And another thing, you know, I'm a little prejudiced, but uh, uh, you take the television commentary. Uh, I mean, they're a great uh, uh, blow by blow or in football, uh, play by play uh, guys like uh, Al Michaels mm -hmm. uh, in football, Joe Tessitore in boxing. Yeah. But the real thing, because I've been in the bubble now for since March, uh, since actually June when we started the bubble. And I've had headsets on. And the thing that's amazing and really is, is spectacular is the analysts. Mm. I mean, Andre Ward and Tim Bradley have come on so great. Uh, they make uh, watching and listening uh, to a telecast really an experience. I mean, uh, I, I know I'm a little prejudiced, but Andre and Tim have done such a remarkable job explaining boxing uh, to people who are watching these fights. And, and you know what? As much as I uh, disagree with Timothy Bradley and Andre Ward sometimes, I would say that they are probably the, 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 the best right now. I think Showtime needs to get a little bit younger, a little bit more hippier. You know, Fox has got to do it for TV. Get hippier. They got to have knowledgeable people mm -hmm. who can communicate what's really happening. Mm. You listen to Andre and Tim and, uh, and I, you know, I, I take a lot of pride in it because when they first started, I took them aside and I said, don't be afraid to be technical. Mm. The people will understand. You'll be able to explain the technical aspects, just what happens in football. Right. You know, you you listen to Tony Roma uh, when he's an analyst, or Troy Aikman, or the guy with Al Michaels, Collingwood. I mean, th they they explain things that people can understand and can see the inner workings right. uh, of an event. Mm -hmm. Andre and Tim, I I really give tremendously high marks, too. 
I yeah yeah I 